today we're going to learn about the gift of tongues as we read in 1st Corinthians chapter 14 verses 2 and 3 1st Corinthians chapter 14 verses 2 and 3 for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but unto God for no man understandeth him howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries but he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but unto God for no man understandeth him howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries hallelujah Today, God is going to give us the gift of tongues. Maybe if you already have the gift of tongues, you're going to increase in it tonight by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit mentioned in Corinthians, the book of Corinthians by Paul, one of the important gifts is speaking in tongues. Tongues is many varieties for example unknown tongues known tongues of man third angelic language today we are going to speak and share about the unknown tongues what is the use of speaking in unknown tongues of god when the holy spirit anoints a person and when he gives the gift of tongues First thing, what happens? He understands the wisdom, the knowledge, the secrets of God from another realm. As we have read in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2, the word of God says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. First, a dialogue, a conversation of speaking in tongues is directly to God and not unto man. For no man understandeth him, how by in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. That means there is a link created between man who has received tongues as well as God. There's a link, first connection being produced by speaking in tongues. Second, as we start speaking in tongues, there's something called speaking mysteries. As many know, as, a, as two people, when they get married, in the beginning they speak secrets after their newly wed life. Both the bride and groom, they speak secrets with each other that others don't understand. With what people don't understand easily and often because they speak something that is so intimate so secrets from their hearts that other people and the people around won't be able to understand likewise god lord jesus is a bridegroom the church is the bride we are the bride the chosen one and as we are anointed with the holy spirit and the gift of tongues, we start speaking with Jesus, our guru, the secrets, the mysteries of another world. The second thing is, is about speaking mysteries with our partner, with our maker, with our God. At that moment, the devil cannot listen to what we are speaking to Jesus. Sometimes the devil tries to sneak inside and, and try to gather what we are trying to pray. But as a person prays in the spirit, in tongues, the devil can never understand what is being told, what is being spoken in that realm. There are many secrets in today's world. In a business field, there are many secrets. Even if a person tries to purchase a product, there are secret codes written behind it 
by certain merchants that we don't easily understand. But of course, the business people or the people of their own shop, they understand. In military, there are secrets kept. There are military codes that are being written. They are being sent. That can only identified, noted and understood only by higher officials or military officials, not by local ordinary people. Likewise, when we are speaking with God Almighty, the Holy Spirit inside us gives this power of tongues, the gift of tongues. And these tongues produces mighty results that makes us to get secrets out of heaven, heavenly secrets from our Father in heaven through our Holy Spirit who is residing in us. In the Old Testament, as we see, many times God sends his angels, the messengers, to give a message from above or send a message from heaven to earth as it was in the life of Mary. Because in those days, the Holy Spirit was not with them permanently. But in the New Testament day, the Holy Spirit was given unto all those who believe on the, the Lord Jesus Christ. And whoever believes on Lord Jesus receives this Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit resides in a person continuously, permanently. So we don't need to speak to an angel and the angel should take it to heaven. Not necessarily. But it is the Holy Spirit who is inside us. And when we start speaking in tongues, the Holy Spirit takes that message and gives it to the Father through Jesus. Amen. Jesus is on the right side of the Father pleading for us in heavenlies. But as we speak in tongues, as we start speaking in unknown tongues, what happens? The Holy Spirit translates those words, those tongues to Jesus, to the Father in the heavens. Amen. This is the power of speaking in unknown tongues. Hallelujah. Not only that, he also, through the Holy Spirit, will speak to your spirit, in your inner man, to your inner being, the mysteries of the other world from heavens. And today God wants to give us his unknown tongues to reveal the secrets of the other world, to reveal the secrets from the heavens. But God wants to open his heart and share his secrets with all of us. Today, as we pray for this gift of tongues, maybe already you have received the gift of tongues, but today as we receive the tongues with power, as we receive the tongues again, fresh anointing will come upon us. And God will take us in the spiritual realm and release the mysteries of the unknown world. The hidden secrets of the other world will be released in our spirit man, in our being, in our lives and in our ministries. The third thing, what does the speaking in tongues do? Actually, it charges a person or for personal edification, you can say. When the Holy Spirit comes and when a person starts speaking in tongues, unknown tongues every day, that person is charged completely. Why should we be charged every day? Because as we get out of our house every day morning, we are facing the battle with the enemy, whether in workplace, whether in society, whether at school, college, wherever we go, there are enemies around. Or the devil is using certain people to sow seeds of discord, thoughts of the world, to deteriorate the presence of God in a man, in a believer. So when we pray in the Holy Spirit, we are, will be charged overcoming the defeating, the plans, the strategies of the devil. For example, maybe you are at work, in a particular place and when you start working in that place maybe the boss maybe your colleagues they might speak negative things or maybe you might be in a function 
or in a party where you might be talking with people and their negative influence that negative behavior that negative character their negative habits attitudes mindset might affect you at that moment when we start speaking in an unknown tongue in our inner man we will be charged overcoming the thoughts of the flesh the thoughts of the devil the plans of the devil the schemes of the devil is to deteriorate us to destroy the persons of god in a man of god today if you are anointed you have to understand the devil is behind the presence of god in your life he is behind the presence of god in your life he is behind the power of god in your life as you are soaked in the presence of god as you are filled in the presence of god almighty every day now and then whenever you move wherever you move however you do whatever you do suddenly the devil comes in, in between he tries to throw certain thoughts words of man some for some it will be the thoughts of the past for some it will be the fearful thoughts of the future the negative thoughts the devil try to throw in everyone's mindset every day but how do we overcome this as an anointed person we have to start speaking in tongues in an unknown tongue at that very moment as we start speaking in that unknown tongue at that point the holy spirit subdues the things of the flesh the thoughts of the flesh the words of the flesh and what happens we will be charged immediately so there is no way you can get dull in the spirit when you have the holy spirit inside hallelujah but many times we get dull because of looking at the situation circumstances the words of men the thoughts the behaviors of people that hurts us many times because we are not focused on the person of the holy spirit inside us or we don't we are not captivated by the love of jesus hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says let our eyes be fixed on jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith So how do you speak in tongues? When you start speaking in tongues, you feel the Holy Spirit inside you. Next, you fix your eyes on Lord Jesus. And at that moment, when you start speaking in tongues, what happens? You it's like you are communicating with Jesus through the Holy Spirit, precious Holy Spirit. You give them the full control and the place at that moment your flesh is deteriorated your flesh is diseased your spirit gets charged it will be full of the holy spirit will be full of the glory of god it will be charged with the power of god almighty at that moment the things of god the blessings of god the promises of god will start coming to pass in your life so today god wants us to bless us with his precious gift of tongues and he may he lead us into the depths of it many times when we get inside this world what happens our thoughts takes away the presence of god and of course the thoughts of the flesh thoughts of man many times when we switch on the tv it takes away the presence of god many times when we listen to negative news things of the people around some people get tensed some people get stressed up even when sharing when our friends share our, their emotions their thoughts their feelings maybe family members relatives when they share their feelings sometimes we get boiled up and sometimes we lose the presence of god at that moment the devil tries to attack our bodies he tries to enter sneak inside our home but we have to understand whatever happens let it not get inside of us who are shares their burden maybe we have to try to give them a solution in the spirit and through the holy spirit we should try to make them also overcome by the gift of tongues inside of us so do it make a point that you will not lose the presence of god that you will not lose the power of god that he has already blessed you with 
Many times Christians who do mighty things for God, when they get down on the stage, they lose their power. They lose their intimacy with God. But today I want to remind you that this Holy Spirit which, which you have received will be with you continuously all through your, your life. But take heed that you speak in this unknown tongue at moments and times whenever the Holy Spirit reminds you, whenever you feel depressed, overcome those thoughts of depression by speaking in unknown tongues. Maybe you, you're facing fear in the night. Maybe are you facing some fearful dreams put by Satan? Or are you facing the schemes of the devil, try, pla, devil trying to attack you? But when you start speaking in tongues, looking onto Jesus, what happens? You're communicating with your maker. You're communicating with your groom. What happens? He connects with you through the Holy Spirit. At that moment, he gives a solution. He fights for you. As Jehovah Nissi, he will fight for you when you face a problem. Many times we don't use the tongues in our day-to-day -day life. That's the reason we fall down. We break down. We lose our blessings. We miss our goals, targets, blessings on the way out of our life. Tonight I want to remind you, let this word penetrate through your spirit all throughout your life. Practice speaking in tongues at least half an hour every day. As you start speaking in tongues, you will be charged every day. Sometimes when you read the word of God, you don't know how to digest it in your spirit, in your inner band. You start speaking in tongues. As you start speaking in tongues more and more and more, the whole, what happens? The word gets absorbed in your spirit, in your inner man. It produces a result, mighty result that the devil cannot touch you. It produces mighty results that the blessings come to you, come to pass very soon in your life. Till the Holy Spirit reminds you once again that he wants to give you this tongues to be spoken of every day in our life. Not only that, in Acts chapter 2, verse 4, on the day of Pentecost, in the upper room, God Almighty anointed the 120 people who were waiting in the upper room with the tongues of fire. Hallelujah. And when these tongues of fire came down, their mouth, their tongues were filled with fire. And it was through these 120 people who were waiting upon God, who received the fire of God upon the tongues, upon the mind, upon the body, through the tongues. They were used for the revival of that nation. And from there, started the whole world's revival after Jesus ascended into heaven. Today, as we receive these tongues of fire in our life, it will not only bless our lives, but it will make us a blessing to the nations. Tonight, God wants us to give us these tongues of fire. As he gave it to the early apostles, the one to you who waited upon God. Tonight, God wants to give the tongues of fire to everyone who eagers for the power of God, who eagers for this anointing of tongues who is eager to be anointed with a fresh oil. May God give you this blessing tonight. As we pray tonight, we're going to ask God, Lord, fill me with, the, with these tongues of fire. As I start praying, let people change. Let the nation change. Let the people around change. Let the situations change. So today God wants you to be anointed with the tongues of fire. So that you can bring a change in your atmosphere. You can change it, bring a change in the belief system of the people around you. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. When the Holy Spirit comes as a fire upon your tongue, your tongue becomes prophetical. 
your tongue becomes a mysterical tongue that will speak the mysteries of the other world. Where Satan will tremble and he himself will not be able to acknowledge what I speak to my father in heaven. Of course, in return, father will speak to me and he will deliver me from the trap, the snares, the schemes of the devil. Hallelujah. May God give you this patronite upon your tongues so that whenever you speak in tongues, that your situations will change hereafter. Whenever you start speaking in tongues, people will be blessed, healed because of you start speaking in tongues. Your family will be delivered from the snares of the devil, from the evil pestilence happening around. Whatever situation happening around, God is ready to deliver you when you receive this holy fire upon your tongue. May God bless you this night with his holy fire. As he blessed his early apostles with the burning fire, he wants to bless your tongue with his fire. Let's bow down our heads for prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Once again, we have come in one accord. We have come here to pray in one accord, Father. And we ask for the mighty Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit will flow in and through us, that the mighty fire of God will fall upon everyone who is eager for the denying of God this night. I pray that everyone who is yearning for the power of God will receive the fire of God upon the lips, the tongues, and some of them in the eyes. May, let there be clenching happening in the church, in the thoughts, in the tongues, in the lives hereafter. And wherever they are, let this fire be set ablaze. Whenever they start speaking in tongues, let fire be set ablaze in the homes, in the workplaces, wherever they go in the society, wherever they travel, wherever they work, wherever they study, let them experience this fire and let them release this fire into the society for the glory of God. Let the revival break forth in the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us open our mouth. As we open our mouth in one accord, the Holy Spirit is going to fill us with His mighty Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With His anointing, God is going to pour out His tongues of fire upon your tongues. Hallelujah. If you have already received the tongues, if God has already given you tongues, today He is going to anoint you with the tongues of fire. Hallelujah. 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 So that the devil will be trembling before you hereafter. Oh, every plan that he puts in the other realm, you can identify what man plans against you in the other realm, what the devil plans for you against you in the other realm. Can you identify through the gift of tongues? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May this fire of God come upon your lips, upon your mindset, upon your eyes, and upon your ears, upon your body. In Jesus' name, I pray the fire will be set ablaze this night. Hallelujah. From wherever they are listening, let the fire of God be set ablaze. Let situations change. Let things change for good. Hallelujah. Let barriers be broken from the lives. Hallelujah. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you mighty Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit is rain fire upon you. Hallelujah. I see heaven fire. Heaven's fire coming down. Heaven's fire coming down. For some of you, your tongues are being purified. By the fire of God from heaven. Hallelujah. For some of you, the mindset is being cleansed by the holy fire of God. For some of you, your ears are being cleansed to hear the voice of God Almighty from this day forward. Hallelujah. And for, it starts from the tongue of fire that God is placing in your mouth this night. Hallelujah. Your mouth will never be the same again. For some of you, God is starting the prophetical gift of tongues 
this night that when you speak tongues there will be fire produced from your tongue that the devil will tremble before you the snares of the devil the thoughts of the devil will be washed away every plan of the devil the schemes of the serpent will be washed away by the burning fire that will be set ablaze in your tongue by God almighty this night hallelujah just give him the glory just open your mouth and thank him just say thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus as you thank him oh God's fire is just flowing through your tongue hallelujah the God's power is being released through your tongue hallelujah your situations change your family members change those unchanged situation changes before the fire of God before the authentic presence of God before the almighty power of the tongue of tongues of God hallelujah hallelujah glory to the master glory to God glory to God glory to God just give him thanks just open your mouth and give him all the glory. Give him the glory. Just feel the Holy Spirit inside you. He is abiding. He is residing inside of you. He is making you more holy than ever before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The work of the fire is to cleanse you and to destroy the works of the plans of the devil. Hallelujah. Now the tongues of fire is just flowing. The tongues of fire is just flowing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is first cleansing many of your tongues this night. Many, many, many people's tongues are cleansed by the fire of God. Hallelujah. So that you will be able to speak the precise words of faith. The precise words of God, the voice of life will be generated out of your lips, not your old standard lips. Hallelujah. God is putting the holy fire as he kept the holy fire in the mouth of Isaiah. Oh, today God is going to give you the prophetical tongues. As you start speaking, hereafter your life will never be the same again. And may God's almighty power reside upon your life all throughout your life. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the Son of God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Just glorify Him. Hey, His fire is just wrapping you. His fire is just flowing through your body. His fire is just flowing through your eyes. His fire. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is empowering you. And some of you, God is filling you with authority. Over the enemy, over the powers of darkness in your realm, in your city, in your country, you will bring revival hereafter because of the fire of God. And today God wants you to be a revivalist, to bring revival in your country, in your nation and in your church through the mighty Holy Spirit. Today you're going to release what God is releasing inside you. You're going to release it to the nations hereafter. Oh, give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the power of God just coming upon many of you right now. Many of you are receiving the prophetical tongues to prophesy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And as you prophesy, the devil's deeds will be broken. Hallelujah. Hey, the walls of Jericho will come Tumbling down before the prophetical tongues of fire. Hallelujah. And as you prophesy, oh, some lame people will be start walking. Hallelujah. As you receive these tongues of fire, oh, the sick people will be healed. Oh, even the blind will be healed in the days to come because of the fire of God. The holy fire of God. Hallelujah. Because he is Jehovah Rapha. He is Jehovah Nisi. And as you pray in tongues, today honors this fire will be operated through your tongues. Your situations will change. The snares of the serpent that the devil is trying to put in your city, in your business, in your private life, in your family life, in your situations. Hey, every satanic holds, every stronghold, every stronghold in the mindset will be broken hereafter because of you speaking in this tongues of fire. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. I thank you, Master. I glorify you, Master. I glorify you, Lord. I glorify you, our Father, for this precious moment that you have anointed us with fire. 
and our lives will never be the same again. For this is a prophetic moment as you have destined this time and this hour for your ministry. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the fire flow through the tongues hereafter in Jesus' name. And those who have pain in the bodies, those who have sickness in your bodies, you can just lay your hands upon that part of your body where you suffer. And you can start speaking in tongues. Hey, the fire of God will burn away. Hey, the fire of God oh, will consume away the sickness. The health issues will deteriorate before the fire of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the power of God will consume you. Hey, unwanted relationships, unwanted roots of the devil, unwanted seeds of the devil. But when the Holy Spirit comes, he brings joy in your spirit. This night he wants to fill you, my sister, my brother, with the joy of God. But it is the devil who wants to live in hopeless situation. It is the devil who wants to live in a joyless situation, peaceless situation. But the devil is a liar. I have good news. The devil is a liar. What is happening around you is not true. But what the Holy Spirit gives in your inner man, in your spirit, that is real this night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the fire of God be set ablaze. And those who do the ministry of God, God is empowering you with fire of God. That as you speak, the devils will tremble. As you speak, the idle spirits will leave, will flee from your city, from your town, from your village. In Jesus' name, there is power in your tongues this moment. When what God gives, what God bestows upon your life is permanent, no devil can snatch it away. Thank you, Holy Father. Just receive it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this precious moment that you have given us, Lord. I glorify you, Lord. I glorify you above Father. Wherever they are, they are feeling the presence of God. Wherever they are, they are feeling the fire of God. And you have touched them with the fire of God. And let this fire spread from them. Let this fire spread to the nations. Let them Spread this fire of God for your glory, Master. Only for your glory. Only for your glory, above Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking control of this section. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just be still. Can you be still in God's presence for a few minutes? As you are still in God's presence, you'll feel the fire of God set ablaze. Some of you have received the fire of God. Some of you have received the fire of God in your tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. As you wait, you will know what you have received in the spirit realm. It is the Holy Spirit who is sharing the secret with your inner man. He is talking to certain hearts, to certain thoughts, to certain beings. Adahatkul barita kama zuwata bai pishti on how he's going to use your tongues hereafter. But make a commitment tonight in your hearts that I'll start speaking in tongues for minutes together, for hours if possible. Lord, use me for your kingdom. Lord, use me so that wherever I go, I'll be charged always, always, all throughout the day, day and night, every time I will be charged by this Holy Spirit. That nothing can defeat me Nothing can pull me down. Nothing can put me down. Because this fire of God that is set ablaze in my hearts. By God. Will burn till the very end of my life. Lord, we humbly bow before you, Lord. We thank you for this beautiful night. For this precious night. How you blessed us with you. Precious Holy Spirit fire. That through our tongues, you want to bring change in our atmosphere. That through our tongues, you want to bring a change in the realms of the spirit. The cities where we live, the villages where we live, Lord, you want to bring a change through each and every one of us. We glorify you, Father. We glorify you. 
that you have increased the intensity of the fire of god you have increased intens- you have increased the intensity of the power of god in each and every one of us this night we believe it in one accord we believe it in one accord thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus as many are waiting upon god as many are thirsty for the gift of tongues many god has blessed you many god has anointed this night and your life will never be the same again says the holy spirit god is going to use everyone who has been anointed with the holy spirit this night for his kingdom and for the nations god says to god be all the glory now and forever amen amen amen